all of my adult life, I've worked in high-paced, high-stress corporate environments with constantly moving targets. Within the division to help contribute not only to the overall uh, bottom line, but also from a customer experience perspective. Well, good. A target in its simplest form is something that makes what you're doing worthwhile. So for example, firing an arrow at empty space is completely pointless. red dot in front of you and your archery practice now has measurable purpose. The target needs to be stretching to hold your attention and when achieved should feel rewarding. The key here is that the target needs to be achievable. It's like shooting penalties, where every time you score a goal, the ball is moved further and further away. Now I run my own business. I do see value in challenging targets. The difference is I now have the experience to not move the goalposts. KPIs, or key performance indicators, do exactly what they say on the tin. They indicate or update you on performance at key stages in the process of achieving that target. Targets are pointless without KPIs. I use this principle for my family business, so why not employ it in my running? Now imagine you're dropped into an ocean. There is nothing for as far as the eye can see. No land, no ships, just a hazy curved horizon. Nothing but a vast open expanse of deep blue water. You know to survive you need to swim, but for how long, how far? Your enthusiasm to swim, your motivation to make it to the land, will be compromised by your inability to see land. It's not just about endurance then, without a goal, without hope. Now imagine an island slowly coming into focus on the horizon. Using that island as a target gives you something to aim for, something to push towards, something that will ensure you grit your teeth and endure. If the island is the target, then your swimming ability, the passage of time, and the island's size as you get closer are the KPIs, a way of measuring what you're doing and making sure you're going in the right direction fast enough. If there's no target, then there can be no KPIs, and KPIs are pointless without a target. That way a little bit, that way a little bit. Perfect. There, All right, okay. Hi guys. I can't do this. I'm trying to be professional. Okay. In my challenge to become an even better runner, my targets are simple. Five events, races or challenges that I would like to achieve. I'd like to run a coastal ultra marathon. Not just walk, but run. I have a real affinity and pull towards water. Quite fancy the South Coast Challenge along the South Downs Way or the Jurassic Coast Challenge. Ultras are completely about endurance and willpower. No matter how well prepped or fit you think you are, running or walking an ultra distance will prove how mentally strong you are. I've just discovered that the Essex Path runs near my village. It's 82 miles of wooded footpaths and bridleways through Essex. I'd like to set up an interesting backyard challenge similar to the ones I've done previously that will utilise this ancient footpath. I'd like to run the London Marathon again. For anyone that's watched my videos before, the most viewed video on my channel is by far my London Marathon video. Come on, let's go! Halfway. That's the halfway point. We're Canary Wolf. I can't run. <laughs> And it's pouring down. Well done. Thank you. I've no idea of the time. I've no idea of the pace. My app stopped at 12 miles. It wasn't fast. It went a bit wobbly in the middle. I hit a wall at about 12 miles. 12, 30 miles. Ooh, that was tough. Having already run it, it's a strange one to leave on my list. Uh, but I have unfinished business. I ran it last time in a fraction over six hours, which isn't fast at all. And I was, I was disappointed. 
I will apply and face rejection every year until I get accepted to run it again. And I will run and set a new faster PB that really reflects my efforts and challenges I've made uh, I've made already. I'd like to run the New York Marathon. Um, New York is an amazing city. We visited it as a family in 2018. we've ever had. A foreign running holiday would be amazing. Stop that. Yeah, I heard chats and noise. Stop that. I'd like to take on High Rocks UK. Since joining the gym, I've started watching gym-related videos on YouTube and the algorithm has thrown me into the world of High Rocks. Initially, it looked crazy, a lot of unnecessary grunting, but I've grown interested because of the two USPs. It's open to everyone, and even though you're in a competition, the way they set it up makes you feel like you're only competing against yourself. Uh, which is the way I like it, only competing against me. Yeah, just people get an idea of how bad this is. This is driving rain, horizontal wind. We're soaked through. We've had to call it. Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge, which is a 24 mile circular route. In February 2020, I attempted to walk it. We underestimated the weather and we were blown off the second peak at halfway. Uh, with 90 degree rain, wind and snow, it was pretty bad. So I still need to go back to the Yorkshire Dales and complete it. I've attempted to keep this list challenging, but realistic based on my own ability. These are my islands on the horizon. My key performance indicators will be my mini achievements dotted throughout my training plan this year, such as my weight loss, my overall fitness, my endurance as I take on half marathons, etc. And my speed or time it takes me to complete these mini benchmarks. Matt, you're on camera. Don't argue. Where are you going? So today is the 24th of December. And as a family, including Maddie, who's hiding in the toilet, we're on our way to our Christmas Eve park run, where Scarly is going to set a sub 30 minute park run. Aren't you? <laughs> That's one lap down. I've lost Scarly and Maddie. Tracy's in front of me though. She's winning the family run. Here she comes. Doing well. How do you feel? Done. You're done? Yeah. You've only got one more lap to go. Let's do this. Okay, so give me five. <sighs> oh, I forgot about this. Let me just zoom out. I was just re watching this in edit, and I forgot that I, at the end of this race, the last 200 yards, I saw Tracy about to cross the finish line. So I sprinted to try and catch her as fast as I could. I gave it my all right at the end. Um, she beat me. She was no way. She sprinted as well as soon as she saw me coming. She just realised I was trying to be as quiet as I can, but obviously I'm not very quiet. But yeah, if you see a finish line, you've got to go for it. That just made me laugh, so I thought I'd just add that in. Oh, Barco, here we go. Found it. Got you. There nice you go. One. Did you do yours? I nearly caught you. How was your first park run? How quickly do you think you were? How quick? 35 minutes. 35 minutes? Are you timed it? I looked at the time. Do you enjoy it? Where's Maddie? When I finished, she was by the hut. She's sitting on the floor over there. Is she sitting on, did she finish? Yeah, well, I've just made her walk through, but she was sitting on the floor. <laughs> she threw up. How fast were you? Uh, 34 minutes and 7 seconds. 
34 minutes? Yeah, what my average, average pace? pace was 10.59. Oh, well done. We're home now, and I got my park run results from today. Um, so my 32 minutes, which is my PB, which I did in the summer, still remains. I ran today at 34.06. Tracy was 34.05. Scarlett was faster, Maddie was a lot slower because she got to the finish line and then sat on the grass and decided to throw up. Um, yeah, so that was today's Christmas Eve family park run. Done. A good example is my 5K in under 30 minutes challenge that I recently forced myself into. So this year's res challenge is, drum roll, um, I intend to run my 5K in under 30 minutes challenge, basically. Go for the KPI, not the target. To achieve 5K in under 30 minutes, I'll need to lose weight, so I'm lighter on my runs. Being lighter means I'll be able to run faster, further, without expending as much energy as I do now. Achieving this means I'll be able to run further slower, increasing my long distance endurance as well. 5K in under 30 minutes is a good KPI, as I can't currently achieve it. Achieving it will indicate I'm going in the right direction to achieve my overall targets. Imagine having to eat a whole elephant. How daunting would that be? Desmond Tutu once said that there can only be one way to eat an elephant, and that's a bite at a time. Everything in life that seems daunting, overwhelming, or even impossible can be accomplished gradually by taking on just a little bit at a time, piece by piece. My next video will be a breakdown of my weekly and monthly training plan. Please don't forget to subscribe to my running channel and this helps me make more videos. These videos help me achieve my running targets. They're a motivation for me. I wanna thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.